Welcome back to Ron White's Comedy Salute to the Troops from the Mirage Hotel and Casino. Webster's Dictionary defines genius as remarkable talent or intelligence. And this next comic also has a dictionary. <laughs> you may know him from his breakthrough special, I'm Not Fat, I'm Fluffy. Which is kind of like me saying, I'm not high, I'm lofty. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming Gabriel Iglesias. Oh my God. This is too crazy, you guys. Thank you so much. And, and it's funny, because you know what? There's a lot of people in this casino upset. I heard one guy going, it's about damn time tater salad and taco salad work together. <laughs> Man, we got a little racism going on in here, yeah. So this is crazy, it's the first time I wear all black. I asked the staff to go get me a Hawaiian shirt and they went to a Hawaiian store to get me a black shirt, which is nice. It fits, they say black makes you look thin unless you're standing in front of a very colorful cactus. <laughs> really, a cactus? Ron, a cactus? Was that cactus there the whole time? No? <laughs> yeah, give the Mexican a cactus, huh? Let's <laughs> see how it is. Yeah, no, I told you, a little racism going on in this casino. It's on this damn stage, that's what it is. So it's cool, you guys. Uh, you know, being here in Vegas is uh, it's nice. When I got invited to be here to support the troops, it's nice because you know what? I've done shows overseas, and those are crazy shows. You know, it's nothing like having somebody warn you, go, if you hear a sound, just get on the ground. Don't worry. I'm like, no, I'm gonna worry. <laughs> You know, I flew over, to, I did a, a show in Afghanistan and we flew over there on a C-17 jet, which for those of you that don't know is like twice the size of Southwest. <laughs> yeah, and they don't land like Southwest. Southwest, you know, now landing. <laughs> C-17 goes from here to here like that because people shoot at the planes, yeah. You know, and, and they don't warn you about that one. They don't tell you, oh, by the way, you're gonna lose your ass in about four seconds, yeah. <laughs> They don't tell you, it goes, I'm not gonna lie, that plane fell out of the sky, I was for five seconds, no lie. It was sad. But yes, now we're here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The last time I got to do a show here was Fight Weekend. Fight Weekend, you remember the last fight, where it was uh, Mayweather versus Canelo Alvarez, also known as the, yeah, I know, the, the fight wasn't what we thought it would be. Kind of like the cactus. So, uh, I think the most impressive thing about that fight was probably the interviews. The interviews are what were really entertaining. Like for me, if you're gonna interview a Mexican fighter, just let the fighter do the interview in Spanish in his native tongue. Don't make him speak English, because in Spanish, he, Canelo sounded like a killer. You know, the guys on ESPN in Spanish, you know, Soy Bernardo Osuna, aquí con ESPN Deportes. Aquí estoy con Canelo Alvarez, que va a pelear contra Floyd Money Mayweather esta semana en Las Vegas, Nevada, en Pay Per View. Canelo, ¿qué vas a hacer contra Floyd Money Mayweather? ¿Qué vas a hacer? And then he came out all killer. Bueno, mira, voy a ser así, voy a ser así. Se va a morir y sas. In translation, he's gonna die. <laughs> It sounded like a good interview, but then they put his ass in English and the whole fight is different. All right, this is Phil Stevens here live for ESPN Sports. Uh, we have uh, here with me today Canelo Alvarez who's gonna face Floyd Money Mayweather this weekend in Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grant on pay-per-view. Canelo, what's your strategy against Floyd Money Mayweather? And then he talks and he kills it, right? Uh... <laughs> well... I am going to a hit him like this, and then I'm going to a hit him like this, and then he gonna hit, he gonna hit, como se dice piso? He gonna hit the floor, and then stand tan like that, okay. Very different. <sighs> Doing good, I know. He's sucking it in, he's sucking it in. So I'm very excited that Ron asked me to do this, and uh, it, it's actually a chance for me to do a cheap plug. Um, uh, <laughs> I got a chance to do a movie last year for uh, Disney called Planes, which was the first time I was able, yeah. It was the first time I was able to actually promote a movie I was part of, because the last movie I did, I couldn't promote to families, you know. I, I was in the movie Magic Mike. <laughs> 
which for those of you that don't know is a male stripper movie. You know, I can't tell kids, hey, go tell your parents to take you to see, you know. <laughs> some of you are laughing, some of you are like, it's like Tragic Mike, it's so sad. Let me tell you guys about doing work for Disney. Once you work for Disney and you do voice animation for them, all of a sudden people start calling you. It's like being in a relationship, okay? When you're single, no one wants you, but then you hook up with a good one. All of a sudden, everyone's calling. And Disney made it very clear. Gabriel, you have nothing to worry about. Disney is going to take really good care of you. Really, really good care of you. All of a sudden, I got a phone call from Nickelodeon, and Nickelodeon was like, we'll do things Disney won't. And I was like, well, hello, Nickelodeon. <laughs> so I show up at Nickelodeon Studios, right? And this girl comes out and she's like, listen, this is the gist of the story, okay? We're such huge fans of yours. You're so funny. We just want you to know what's going on. This is a story about a little toy car, okay? This little toy car has its own special personality. He also has four friends that are also toy cars, okay? There's the happy car, there's sad car, there's a crazy car. And one of these little toy cars, we need to be a little different. <laughs> And in Hollywood, when they say different, they mean Mexican. That's what they mean. <laughs> but they never tell you that. They just give you a series of suggestive words to let you know the type of direction they want you to go in. So she walks me into a sound booth. I get in front of a microphone, and then they close the door. <laughs> she goes behind a glass, and she starts talking to me through a PA system, and she's like, Okay, if you could just read the top line, okay? We're gonna figure out this character. Just read the top line and we'll take it from there, okay? Whenever you're ready. So the line is, hey guys, I'm glad we're all here. So I'm like, okay, here we go. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm glad we're all here. Okay, that's really good, really, really good. If you could do me a favor and put a little spice <laughs> On that, that would be super. And when I heard Spice, I knew exactly what she meant. I'm like, great, they want me to play this like a gardener. <laughs> I'm frustrated, I'm mad. I'm like, what am I doing here? I should be over at Disney. But no, there I am, little whore, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, fine. So, you know, <clears throat> hey, I can't believe that we are all here. Okay, you sound really unenthusiastic. If you could just do me a favor and give it more energy and more spice, that would be super. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> hey guys, I can't believe that we are all here. Okay, we know that you do sound effects and character voices in your comedy. Can you do a sound effect for a little toy car? I'm like, a toy car, I got this. <clears throat> Can you put spice on that? <laughs> they want me to put an accent on a sound effect. I was like, I don't know, <clears throat> Varum. Okay, can you give me some more? I am so frustrated, I'm so annoyed, I'm ready to walk out of there. So I grab the microphone and I do this. As I'm taking off the headphone, she looks at me, she goes, perfect. And that cartoon comes out June 17th, you guys. Thank you very much. A big shout out to my brother-in-law and my sister. Combined together, 50 years in the United States Air Force. Thank you very much. Thank you, love you guys.